Hello, everybody. This is your host, Vinyl Man Jeb, with another four and a half cast. This is episode three now. Uh, we had Mike uh, last week, and before that, we had Rick Tedesco. So now we have with us Doug Wahlberg. Doug, how you doing? Very good, thanks. How you doing, Jeremy? Good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm uh, excited to have you on. Talk about the old four and aft and learn some more information about a bar I've never been to. But man, I wish I have. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. So what? Uh, we'll start with your music career. Uh, what artists have inspired you to start making music and start playing? Well, that would probably be uh, the Beatles as number one. Awesome. Um, you know, I am a singer, songwriter, guitar, so I, I love uh, Jeff Beck and uh, David Gilmore and Keith Richard and, I mean, A to Z. Perfect. The rock. Yeah. The rock, uh, the big rock guys. I love it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Awesome. awesome. And uh, Tom Petty, you would say, too, as well? So I see a lot of Tom Petty. Yeah. In there. Oh yeah, yep. I love I love uh, what he's done. Um, absolutely, big fan. Uh, so, out of all the guitars you're on, this is a cool question for you. What, what's your favorite guitar? <laughs> uh, that'd be my own guitar, my own brand. It's called a Skeleton. Ooh, perfect. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it it kind of happened by accident uh, many many moons ago. Uh, I'd had a brand new Gibson Explorer. It got stolen off stage oh, in between geez. sets. So somebody had approached me and uh, asked what was going on. So I ended up trading an amplifier for a purple thin line Telecaster that he went and retrieved. And at that point, I was, I don't know, 17 or something. And I thought it was ugly. So I kind of hacked it up and mm -hmm. it turned into uh, my Skeleton brand. I love that. I love that. I love the uh, the DIY involved of. And also the the panic of like I need a guitar, you know I need <laughs> need gear, which to create such a cool yeah. cool in instrument. Yeah, like and I love the Tellys too. <laughs> oh, cool! Yeah, they're great guitars. So recently you worked with uh, Jefferson uh, Starship, right? Or was it Airplane? I forget which one uh, version it was of them. It was actually Starship. It was yeah. Starship. Okay. Yeah, we we've done quite a few shows with them, and actually after the uh, the fore and aft show in Danbury at the Ives, um, the lead singer reached out to me and asked me if, if we could open for them. Uh, it was for National Adoption Foundation benefit. And oh, I said, wow. absolutely. So we opened them and then uh, quite a surprise. I was backstage and she called me up and um, I was able to sit in with them on their encore and do volunteers. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, one of their... That's got to be a dream come true. <laughs> uh, it really was. It was, uh, they're, yeah, they're just such great people. And uh, so she handed me a, a Rickenbacker 12 string and mm. uh, she wanted me to go dueling guitars, which is, that's not really a guitar to be riffing on, but that's okay. I had fun doing it. Made anyway. it work. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Perfect. And I saw you did a thing with Rick Tedesco um, up on the, um, I think YouTube. I saw it on where you guys were dueling back and forth the two bands, and I thought that was awesome between the two of you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Rick Rick was was in my band for oh I don't know probably eight years or so, and uh, he still you know whenever we're playing he'll come and sit in, and uh, we've written songs together, recorded together, and he uh, actually turned me on to Ian Hunter whom uh, he is best friends with, and uh, I became very friendly with Ian. And, yeah, it was just – it was great. And, uh, yeah, Rick's a good friend of mine, and, uh, yeah, that kind Ian's of thing. Ian's fantastic, too. Fantastic talent. Amazing music, yeah. too. And it's, it's so cool because, like, having Rick on, uh, you know, in the past of the first episode, actually, it was awesome. Didn't to know a lot about but the bar. So we'll bring it to the fore and aft now. Um, so what, are your, what is your uh, biggest memory or, uh, of the fore and aft? <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> talking to the wrong person because, ah. quite frankly, I have never played there. Oh, ah, um, interesting. What What's happened is is that I was contacted by the person running it, and he said, uh, we really want you to play. Did you ever play there? I said, no. He goes, any band members ever play there? I said, absolutely. Ah. So uh, Rick Tedesco and then our uh, keyboard slash guitar singer, Jeff Claypool, uh, had played there many, many times, so that was the connection. Um, yeah, I uh, we were playing a different circuit, and I actually never played there, but 
of course, all of the bands that had played there, I knew all of them. Oh, perfect. So you're uh, still technically like an honorary. <laughs> yeah. We'll make it work. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, so it works that good. That was my connection. Because yeah. that was cool, yeah, because I think Mike was running the first festival and the second with uh, Julie Shaker as well. And I know um, for the first festival, you, you had you, um, a bunch of other bands like Rat Race Choir and stuff like that. And I had the jacket. I was swinging around the jacket with all the signatures, which I got to get your signature on. I still have to find a time to, to meet with you sometime to get that signature. I have all these four and a half bands on there. And I don't think I got any of the Doug Wahlberg guys because I think you guys were on stage when I was uh, meeting with um, I was backstage with uh, Limelight talking to them. So it was an interesting time. Sure. So definitely have to meet up some time for that, but uh, yeah, yeah we, it's we just come cool. up. What was come that? Up to uh, we're doing Foxwoods uh, hmm. Classic Rock Weekend with uh, Survivor Sticks uh, March twenty and twenty one. So if you happen to be in the neighborhood, I'd be uh, oh definitely. more than happy to sign the jacket yeah yeah definitely i know uh, it was cool because i wear the jacket wherever i go now and i have like uh, murray the wheel came up to me who's worked with richie and stuff or uh, richie scarlet and he was like i've been to the four and aft i played there and i was like you can sign it you can sign it murray <laughs> uh, I, know, I know murray yeah, i've he's known great. him for forever yeah, yeah he's awesome still it was, set, it was still so setting cool. his guitar on fire and oh all yeah. That. yeah oh yeah it's bringing the slide down with the lighter uh, actually one of my buddies uh slim who was in a band with me for a little bit great guitarist great blues guy uh was in murray for a little bit with him um was like learning from him was in uh with murray the wheel and it was just amazing that he knew um when i brought the name up he looked right over at me and he was like i'll talk to you after definitely and i was like sweet and he signed the jacket and we got to talk and it was at the blues uh winter fest three at uh crystal bees so it was a lot of fun oh uh, uh, yeah yeah scene great music yep. great ideas and so you said you like the beatles right so do you have one that yeah particular favorite album i know it's very tough i'm a huge beatles fan myself i always go to rubber soul but but how about you <laughs> well you know something that's one of them um i'm gonna go with sergeant peppers nice. and uh rubber soul revolver pretty much any of it i mean that's where i got the bug seeing them Perfect. on uh on the Ed Sullivan show, just got got my juices going, and I said, oh, "I want to do that." That's everything. And so, uh, and my dad was like eight, yeah. I think, when so, they uh, were yeah. uh, started, and then you know, or when they ended. I think he he was born in uh, fifty five, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, <laughs> but all that time, okay. and it's just it's cool to just hear about the history of how music explosion back then, and all the difference the Britain, the British invasion, and. And all this different stuff where nowadays we don't have that as much. But you still have the bands that are going strong and trying to make music in that way. And then we got the cover bands that are trying to bring it back. And I love that. I love that, uh, the feeling and the emotions yeah. behind it. It's perfect. <laughs> well, that was, that, was the, uh, that was the good stuff. And uh, there's still a lot of good stuff out there. But I'm glad to see people are keeping it alive. Definitely. And we're hoping to do a third festival, Mike said. Um, he was mentioning trying to get a third one going. Just need some time to kind of get more people interested and raise more funds for it. Because the second one, I think, didn't sell as well. But I thought there was a ton of people there. But I guess sometimes, because you, you, how, how open Ives is, you kind of sometimes a lot of people doesn't look as the because it's so big. But the Alice Cooper guys were there. And it was a really good experience. Um, but I know Neil Smith was at the first one, so it was, it was a very uh, fun fun event. So guys, uh, definitely come out and uh, check if there is a third one. I'll keep everybody up to date on the festival and stuff. And guys, go see Doug. Go see Doug live. Uh, Doug Wahlberg band. They do a great, great job with the songs. You guys, you guys are fantastic. So it's just great to have oh, you on. Well, a quick one you. for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. No I problem. Appreciate it. Yeah, I actually, actually, uh, I know Neil very well, oh, and cool. I, um, I did all the guitar uh, work on. Uh, two of his records and i've known neil forever we used to uh open we used to have a band called the roll-ons and at that point he was in flying tigers and we opened them uh, all over the place well, that's awesome if you want to keep talking about that that'd be great so what was it like working with neil though there's from all that uh, rock and roll hall of fame you know drummer of the alice cooper group and stuff it must have been extremely fun it was and he played a lot of guitar on there and he decided to uh, uh write songs in very odd odd keys huh. which made it challenging which actually made it fun because uh rather than uh the afterthought was i should have tuned detuned to uh <laughs> to yeah. what he had done but i left it as it was and uh i had a blast doing it you know and i uh, played with neil a million times and uh yeah he's just a great guy i've known him and dennis for 
for a bazillion years. And Dennis is great too. Uh, meeting him was a uh, he he signed the four and a half jacket too. Uh, Dennis and Michael Bruce. Oh, nice. So I got there on the two front pockets, but Dennis is a hero of mine in base and just amazing to to actually meet him and and to have that chance and and I got a he had like a copy of the Alice Cooper seventy four uh, ticket and he was like a photocopy thing and he signed it for me and I was like oh thank you appreciate it and it was just really cool uh, meeting him nice. nicest guy and and so is all those guys michael bruce is awesome and neil doesn't uh he he left but i met him the first uh festival got his signature on the back right. of um one of my alice cooper albums can't remember which one but it was one of them <laughs> and it has the signature on it so i was like that's awesome to finally uh to meet him too one of the coolest drummers in rock history so yeah it was it was really fun. Absolutely. It was cool. He's one of the, one of the pioneers. Oh, yeah. oh, definitely. Without a doubt. And to be able that they worked with Zappa too, but I'm learning a lot from Michael Bruce that it was an odd time. And I was like, yeah, it's interesting. Cause a lot of, a lot of different stuff and you're hearing it from people that worked with Zappa and, and all that is like, it's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, sure. But a big yeah, fan another of that, genius. So. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. I actually uh, interviewed his sister on this podcast too. And she did a lot of an insight more on the family side of him. And I didn't expect, I read her book and I was like, this is awesome to hear a different side of Frank than just the guitar and everything. But he was uh, a lot of the stuff coming out at the same time. He was a genius that like had all these stuff figured out and everything and just able to kind of, if you worked with him, you were lucky, you know, it was pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> Oh, so that yeah. was um, Moon Moon Unit that uh, you? Uh... No, uh, Candy Moon Unit's his daughter. Uh, Candy Zappa Patrice uh, is his sister. Um, she's awesome. Oh, his sister. Yeah, his oh, okay. sister. I'm sorry. sorry. About that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was cool. a very cool experience, uh, something very unique to have for the show, and and also just for personal, you know, pleasure of knowing I got to talk to Zappa's own sister, which was awesome, and doing some work with her wow. on uh, voice lines for some stuff for an album coming out, and it's amazing. So, and I hopefully have some work with you soon too. I got to write him some stuff for you, see if we can get that going. I remember from before with uh, Rick too. So, gotta get uh, sure. gotta get all that together. That'd be awesome. So, I appreciate that. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, absolutely! Opportunities to learn, even to learn from you, from anybody. It's it's always good to try to learn new stuff and to because you know I've been playing, but I'm nowhere near anywhere. It's like you could always learn, so I love that. Yeah, uh, anybody, all of yeah. us can still learn. Perfect. Yeah, and it's true. It's true. Well, Doug, thank thank you for coming up. Uh, post this one. I'll post this one right away and uh, have it right up for the four and after fest, and I'll post it uh, in the four and after fest uh, f- Facebook group chat, and hopefully some people check it out. Going, oh, I know Doug. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, Perfect. keep me in the loop. I'll, I'll help do. you promote it. And yeah. uh, the pleasure was all mine, Jeremy. And uh, thank you so thank much you for and reaching I'll, out. I'll let you know if I can make it to the Foxwoods one. It'd be cool to meet you and and hang out and stuff. Be perfect. Sounds like a, sounds good, man. All right, thank you so much.